Hi all, I did a video on this some time ago now, a couple of years I think it is, and I've not used it since. So I can get it all in focus. <clears throat> I've made a, a bit of a modification. Uh, one of them is fixed a permanent adapter tap to the inlet on the water. This is the outlet and this is the gas. So I'm just going to show you how this all goes together first, just to let you know. Okay, so when you get it, I don't know why it was, but this was that way round. No, 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 that's not right. Okay, so put the brass through first, put the washer on, and then we're set to go. So this is your gas input, gas there. I'm using propane. I don't use butane. Butane freezes very easy and doesn't work very well. So you're better off with propane, which is the red bottle. This is your uh, switch for the electric, which is controlled by two batteries in here, which are two D batteries, the big ones. I don't know if they're any good. I've got to test them to see if they're any good. Um, why I'm doing this video is because there's a slight modification which I've done. This is a six liter portable gas shower, okay? Why is it six liter? Because this is your heat exchanger and this handles six liters of water per minute. Uh, that's on full power. Now, when I did it last year or the year before, I can't remember, I've got the gas on full. I've got the temperature set to winter and I've got, not the temperature, I've got the summer or winter, which means that I think it's less gas or it cools it down a bit. So this is on full, full and full temperature. Let me just let this cut out. And I couldn't get uh, it any hotter than what it was given me because I found out that the heck, we also you got this which is a deflector, which fits in there. So these are not to be used indoors at all, unless you've got a fantastically well-vented area, because poisonous gas is going to come out of that. Okay. Right. So what I'm trying to get at here, I've got a handle as well, so you, that's how forward it is. And what I did, the shower head that comes with it is absolutely rubbish. It's plastic, it's rubbishy, um, it does work, but it, there's too much water coming out the head. You can see that. Here we go. And if I can get that close up. See, I find this is a new head, shower head. And this is a high pressure head. I believe it's high pressure. And what that means is the water is going to be forced out under a lot more pressure, which means that the water, your six liters that you're getting through, should stay longer in the heat exchanger. So therefore getting hotter. So then we can turn these temperature gauges down a bit. So we're not like full gas, full power, full water. We can actually come down a bit and have a little bit more variant on the temperature that's coming out. So we're not just gonna get through six liters of water and just be sort of mildly warm when you want it hot. So this is going to be a test today. I'm going to fire this back up again, see if this shower head works and see what difference it makes. So if you bear with me, we'll start getting it set up. While we're on the subject, I forgot to mention as well, it's definitely, totally portable gas shower. If you buy a water pump, this is a 12 volt water pump, and set this up. So that's your outlet, and this is your inlet. So you can set a bucket up underneath this device, a big rubble bucket or whatever you want, um, and you can have the pipe coming from here into um, one of the buckets. This then will connect into your inlet in your water, a uh, water, sorry, inlet there. Uh, and then this is where it makes it totally portable because you connect this to a 12 volt battery and this will pump the water from out the bucket up through into the device, switch it on. That means it's totally portable. All you need is a battery. It doesn't have to be a, it can be a car battery or sort of a in the vet car battery or anything you want. Any sort of portable 12 volt battery should do the job. As long as you've got enough power. And of course your gas bottle and your pipe, which I'll show you in a bit. Okay, first thing, propane. Bear with me. You didn't want to see me struggling, or did you? So. Okay, 
Make sure that's nice and tight. We don't want any gas leaks or any explosions, which we shouldn't get anyway. Okay. Now I'll find somewhere to mount it. Water. Not switched on, of course, yet. Finally, high pressure shower head. I want to put everything on finger tight, so I've not. Um... Okay. Right. Pop a bit of water on. I'll just see what happens first. Um, it should self ignite if the batteries are good. So. I'm going to get the camera wet. Right. Pop that on the floor. Okay, gas on. So it's like French, isn't it? Gas on. Okay, that's fully on. I might disappear for a second. I'm going to put it on full control. Winter, fire. Don't forget to put the switch on. And. You should hear some clicking. This is not too much road noise. Okay, back in a second. There you go. So the batteries are still good. You can see that. So that's the. Sh that's a very fine. And that's. Not that hot at the moment. It's getting warmer. So I'll let that run for a second. It's all on full. So it's a fine mist. Mm, it's showerable. Still not the best. This is like a bit of a review on these six litre ones, you know. Um, so it's coming straight from the mains. It's getting warmer. Temperature's up full. What I'm going to do is just bear with me. I'm just going to turn the um, mains down a little bit because it's quite high pressured mains here. See so if we can get it a bit hotter. So, bear with me. Okay, it's about half the pressure now. That's hotter now, a lot hotter. That's beautiful shower temperature now. Maybe a bit too hot. You can see it's steaming. So yeah, it's the pressure as well. We have really high pressure water where we are. You can see it's steaming now. I'll put a link in the description down below uh, where I got this head from. Yeah, that makes a big difference. It's still all full power, but I'm not really bothered. The gas is on full. Yeah. So if this has helped anybody, this is an update. Um, this is a hack, or it isn't. <laughs> Either way, but you can see the steam. And that's chucking out some heat as well from the top. So like I said, from here, you don't want to block that up at all. That's chucking out some heat. Nice and hot. That's hot. That's that's almost the point of unbearable. I think you'd be a little bit scalded in that if you were having a shower. Yeah, definitely, definitely. That's by turning the water pressure down as well. So yeah, good shower head. The other one is very plasticky. There's no leaks. Yeah, great. So... I'll definitely put a link in the description for where you get one of these from, if anybody's got one of these gas heaters, or well, this is just my personal review on one. Okay, take care. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next vid. Oh, just one more thing. When you turn the water yeah, off, you everything the switches off. Just a, an update. Uh, when you switch the water off, everything turns off. The gas automatically turns off, 
and it just it just stops and all you have to do is disconnect and um, switch the gas off at the bottle. That's the bottle. There you go. So that's just a six kilo portable Again. gas bottle. <laughs> Sorry. Would I buy one? Yes. Do I find it useful? Yes. Especially down the coast if you've got kids. We've got loads of grandkids. So it'll be great for bathing them or just cleaning them off before they go in the camper or before they get in the tent. Um, for what it costs, easy. You could link it up to your gas in your camper or a van or just take a bottle with you, whatever you want to do. So, yeah, I would definitely get one. Um, and I find them really economical as well. Take care.